Okay, hello. Um, this is really late. I meant to do this much earlier, and I think it'll get to her late. This is for Lori Seabrook and her um, <clears throat> her challenge. And uh, I've just been sick, so I'm sorry, Lori. It'll get too late, and I don't care uh, whether I am entered in the challenge or not. I get it. But I probably won't be. And that's fine with me. I promised you I was going to make one of these, and I am. And it's really not about the <clears throat> prizes anyway. It's about participating in a community. and Yeah. So I'm going to uh, start with some stamps from the French country because she wanted a French Paris theme. And this is uh, these are the things I have. So uh, <clears throat> I don't have a lot of Paris French things, but but this will work. Oh, don't you love it when you're sick and everything is hiding from you? All right, here we go. I got a bigger block. There's this text stamp, and I'm using some of this TI. <clears throat> and it probably isn't going to stamp very dark because I've got an issue with needing reinkers. But I think in this case that'll be just fine. Sure enough, it isn't very dark, uh, but that's okay. I just wanted some nice background texture, and that works for me. <clears throat> All right, that goes there, and then, and then, and then, and then, I uh, wanted to do some bright colors, so I pulled my sister's Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to uh, use this stencil that I got from Club Scrap because it, to me, has that sort of Paris French, uh, I don't know, it just looked like it should be done here. And I'm just doing a real simple thing of just going through it with the ink, just a real simple stenciling. Kind of the most simplest stenciling technique there is, just inking through the stencil with some yellow. And I decided to go with this yellow blue because that's a very French country color, very French color scheme. Is the, <clears throat> the blue and the red. So I have this one Eiffel Tower. Um, stamp. This is from Recollections. I actually bought this stamp so I could do this. I like it. Don't think that I bought it just to do the challenge, but uh, but I did buy this, so I wanted to make sure to do the challenge because I really wanted to do it. You know, I planned it. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. Let's hope it stamps well. It's beating up a lot. And this new stamp. Let's stamp it off on another piece of paper and see how it looks. I don't like that. It's a little on the blotchy side. Well, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I've got some Versafine up here. Aha! Versafine. Let's try that. I bet that'll stamp a little smoother. If you don't know what Versafine is, it's a an ink from Tusaningo. It's just the company that makes Stays On and Brilliance and uh, it's oil-based ink, and nothing usually stamps better than a VersaFine pad, I'm telling you, in terms of fine detail, and, um, yeah, Let's see if we can get that inked well. If we can get it inked well, it should stamp well. Let's see how it goes. Speeding up a bit, cheap recollection stamps. It's better. It's still a little blotchy in my book. Okay, so I'm going to do the, the next thing. I guess this is an exercise in knowing how to make cheap stamps work well. 
kind of really planned it that way, but sometimes when you buy a new stamp and it doesn't want to stamp smooth, you got to do certain things. So, Recollections, I don't think is just the best quality. They're pretty cheap. I like cheap. I'm willing to work with it. You can take a... This nail file. And just gently rough up the surface of the stamp. Right. Yeah, looks a little rougher. Let me get it right here a bit. Okay, let's try it again. Well, I like this color. Let's try that. Oh, it's beating up still with the Stampin' Up! color. Mm. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Trying it on the scrap paper first to see if we can get a smooth image. It's better. It's much better than it was. So, we'll hit it again. Okay, now I'm going to just go back to the versifying because I think maybe we'll get better luck. Oh yeah, we're going to get better luck. Yep, yep, yep. I can tell by just the way of thinking. Ah! Success! Success! Now the thing about VersaFine is it takes a while to dry. It's an oil-based ink. <clears throat> means it takes a while to dry. It's good for watercoloring. I'm going to put it right there. Ah, oh, nice. That's a nice image. It, it stamped really nicely. All right. Well, that was a bit of a job, but we got it done. We got it done. We're still under 10 minutes, which is nice. I don't want to make this 60,000 years long, and I haven't figured out how to edit it so it goes faster. So that's something in my future, I suppose, but not today. Um, yeah, okay. So we'll stick that down there. I did want to I did want to bring that die around the outside. All right. And then, and then, I have the word bonjour in uh, graphic 45. We'll go ahead and throw that. Let's see where that fits. It's really nice right there. Oh, perfect. Cute, cute. All right, one more thing. One more thing and then I'm done fiddling with this one because I don't want to make it crazy. The artist trading card, I think, should be flat. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. This is what I'm doing here for this one. Okay. I just got this stencil and it has a fleur de lis in it. I think it's Heidi Swap. I got it at the Craft Warehouse. There was a set of three and I got it for $3. Yes, $3. It's a big stencil. Um, so I was excited about that and wanted to use it. And then the other thing I got at the craft warehouse, modeling cream. And you may not know what this is because it doesn't say on here. And if you read the thing, it doesn't say. 
and I saw this and they wanted three dollars for this. It was normally a nine dollar item, they wanted three dollars for this. And I thought, what the heck is modeling cream? That looks really pretty. Well, my sister was with me and we grabbed our phones and we looked it up and guess what this is? This is nothing more than texture paste. I made this with the, one of the other stencils. It's raised up texture paste. It's gold colored. It's gorgeous. A ton of it in here for three dollars. So, you know, if you guys have a craft warehouse near you, I know that they're not that common, but boy, if you have one and they've got this on clearance, this is a good deal. You don't need a lot. All right, so I'm going to put this right there. Right there. Yep, I'm going to do it. Just going to gently rub it right over that fleur de lis. Then, we come in here, scrape it smooth. All right, there we go. This beautiful fleur de in the bottom corner. All right, that, there it is, Lori. Um, I will mail this off to you tomorrow, and, it, and that means it probably is not going to get to you by the first because the first is like Saturday or something. And, it, and I'm sorry about that. It just is what it is, and I don't care, you know, about the uh, about the being entered in the thing if, if, if it's fine. Uh, I just had emailed you early in the thing and I said I was going to do this and I've got your um, address and, and I wanted to do it for you. So there's my Paris theme ATC card. It's pretty simple. This is going to dry pretty fast and opaque like this and beautiful. And um, if you guys have a craft warehouse near you um, they have like five or six colors of this, and I only bought one because uh, <clears throat> my husband's first payday isn't until uh, next week, probably. But um, boy, after payday, I'm going to go in and see if they've got more of these. So, all right, have a good day. Bye bye.